machines here. Look at it. It can go up and go down. So how can it do? Well, this machines can go up and down like that because of energy. Energy is always around it. And energy, you know, it can't be destroyed or can't be created. It just can't from change from one form to another. So there are five main forms of energies that called melts. Well, melts. It's a like a word list in the forms of energy. The N is for the mechanical energy, E is electrical energy, L is light energy, T is thermal energy, and S is sound energy. Melts. So that is some kind of energies. So let's get started with mechanical energy. Well, mechanical energy is the energies that we know it have mechanical energy because it moves like this. So mechanical energy is divided into two groups, potential and kinetic. Potential energy is um, energy in an object that ready to move. Like if I and my friends go up into a hill and roll down, when I standing at the top, I have potential energy. I'm ready to go down. So that is potential. What about kinetic? Well, kinetic energy is something we move. We have moved. Like my, I and my friend had moved down the road. So I and my friends have kinetic energies. So that is all about mechanical energy. What about light energy? Well, light energies are the energy that travel in waves. Light energies, can, the source of light energy can be the, the flashlights or maybe the sun. Those, the light source, those source have light energy because we know that because it's very bright. Here, my lamp is very bright because it have light energy. And I know that the lamp has light energy because it's bright. And it's the light energy in this lamp travel here by waves. So now I will talk about sound energy. Well, sound energies can move by mediums. And there's a different mediums. Like the sound energy can move into solid, liquid, and gases. And we know it ha it has sound energy because it make noise and make vibration. If something have sound energy, it needs bright vibration to help it make sounds like the fan up in my roof. So that's all about sound energy. And then we move to the T, thermal energy. Well, thermal energies is the heat energy we call it heat energy well fire and the sun are very similar thermal energy source because it make a lot of heat and there's a lot of thermal energy here very hot so we know an object have thermal energy by feeling it we can feel thermal energies because it has heat and it's hot so then we move to Electrical energy, the last one. Well, electrical energies is not they just use a lot. And when we think about electrical energy, we think about thunderstorms and something we have to plug in, like this computer. It has some wires to help it to help the like the electric go through the wire and then to this computer so it can work to help me have a presentations. So every time we know um, electrical energy, we can know it because maybe it have some battery or some wires or a plug attached into it. So we know that have electrical energy and the way that it flows. So now I 
I will talk about transfer of energy. In the beginning of the lessons, I have talked about energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change from one to another. So energy can transfer. So what is an example of transfer energy? Well, energy can the transfer of energy have two main parts is the source and what is it produced so here this machines i have created with my mom here the source is the battery in this controls and the source is electrical energy and how, what energy is produced well it produces mechanical energy because this square is moving up and down so that's an example of electrical energy as some source and it produces the mechanical energy what about not the electrical energy being a source well do you know the solar panel well the solar panel works to help create lights and what is produced? Well, a source is the light energy from the sun and what it creates? It, it creates electrical energy for, for light up our homes. So it's not electrical energy is only a source. It may be the light. So what about electrical energy as a source? Well, here, um, in a computers, the source is the electrical energy, and what is make? It's make light energy, right? Yeah, I see the lights in this computer. So that is a transfer of electrical energy as a source, and produce light energy. And now, it's all about our topic today. Remember, energy cannot be created or destroyed it can change from one to another form thank you for listening goodbye and see you have a great day bye see you soon